always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. Today was a transition day. We watched as the sun gradually broke through, and it wasn't until this evening that we lost all the rain across West Michigan. Now we wait for a dry stretch, so very little rain in the next week. Live look outside, quiet across West Michigan. We're not expecting fog. Temperatures are already starting to dip down into the 50s. And we have basically clear skies across the region. If we zoom out, you can see that we have a system upstream. We actually have two that we're watching, but neither are really going to impact us. The first is headed this way for Wednesday. It's going to drop down from north to south, and it's not going to do much for us aside from give us a few clouds from time to time. Thursday, the system dodges us to the north. So the next four days, fantastic. Again, kickoff to Art Prize officially gets underway on Thursday. We have people coming to town on Wednesday should be totally fine traffic-wise. And noticing Friday and Saturday are going to be even warmer. Again, still dry and not too humid. Here's a check of your future cast. We have high pressure in place. And again, Wednesday, small system drops from north to south. Most of us won't even notice it. That's how minimal it is. And then Thursday, the system off to the west, rolling through the Dakotas, continues north of us. So at most, it looks like the upper peninsula should be impacted. But the lower peninsula is just going to get ready for the 80s. The next two days will be in the 70s. Enjoy them. Very pleasant. Tomorrow, mid to upper 70s. And you can see temperatures will cool back down into the 50s late in the day. Two-day planner, Wednesday 77, Thursday 76. Each day, not a lot of wind. So even though we have these systems that are rolling through, not only are they not producing much rain, they're also not going to produce much wind. So each day is going to be fantastic for those outdoor activities, barbecues, practices, what have you. You don't really have to worry about the weather. Futurecast, I want to show you air masses. You can see the cold air is lifting off to the north. It's taking that fall system along with it. And by the time we get to Friday, we easily transition into the 80s with the warm air sliding into place. It builds even more so next week. So we do anticipate temperatures to be launching into the 80s and then staying in the 80s. There's a good chance that we might even lean a little warmer than average to finish out September, although we'll have to watch and wait and see if that will actually come to fruition. Looking at the eight-day forecast, you can see the 80s stick around. What's interesting is we're marching closer and closer to the official start of fall, and the temperatures seem to be going back up in the upward direction. We know that happens every fall. We don't just drop down into the chill. Right. We have a few more 80s, sometimes even 90s, that we have to roll through first. <laughs> right. False fall and second right, summer. Right, that's right. Exactly. Yep, that's false fall. Right <laughs> Thanks, Ellen.